guys, today's the day. We are gonna put the Stadel in the 660. I have been avoiding this for the last three months, but finally, we're gonna go ahead and do it. I mean, first I'm gonna definitely wash this thing. I mean, that last hole I went in was kinda grassy, but we're gonna go ahead, put the Stadel in. Might put the disc seals in, really depends on what kind of time I have. It's a nice Friday, we'll see what we can get done. And uh, hope you stick around. Okay, well, we got it washed off pretty good. I mean, it's hard. I mean, I gotta show you all this. Just, just look at all the gunk. It's like eerie. You can see the oil in the water there. I have an oil leak I gotta fix today. The front seal, luckily I got it. Came with the front diff, but that's all the ewees I had to wash off, so got them pretty much good. You still see a little crass, so still stuff underneath of it, but we're gonna get them, my friends. Of course, we gotta take this side off. Take this cover off. Then there's a thing, you gotta take the thing off the side, whole casing off. We'll keep up, I'll keep y'all up to date and we'll put the stator in. It's probably gonna take a while. Then after that, we got a front seal that's hooked to the, I don't think you can see it, but it's the one hooked to the front dry shaft these be plates. So I got that. And then the real diff is leaking oil now, which I've been waiting for the front seal to go out. I will place both side seals, but I, was, I didn't want to do the front seal because I didn't want to take the whole thing out, but this is the way it works. You, you neglect one thing and next thing you know, you got to fix it. But uh, we'll go ahead and get this data on right fast and see if this fixes our charging problem. So we got the, floorboard out pulled the uh pull starter i don't know where i put that thing and uh looks like the pull starter has been uh letting a little water in there not good but ain't nothing we can't fix now we got we already drained the oil which yeah guys you gotta make sure to drain the oil because once you take this side cover off it's gonna pour oil you also gotta drain the antifreeze but i'm gonna drain the antifreeze when i get to that point just take that big hose off of just trying to clean up a little bit now so I can get to these bolts and then we're going to pull this side cover off. So we got the side off. You just take, you just had to take all the bolts out and apparently it's been changed at one point because it got gasket material instead of gasket. Then you got to take the three screws out. One, two, three. And of course, like any dumb thing, they have to make it a Phillips head, which is like, if you ever mess with them, you know they're the worst thing. So looking at this, you can see right over there, and rubbed into. I don't know how that happened. We are going to figure this out. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go with improperly put in last time. State itself looks good. They don't look burnt too bad. At least not too horrible. But that wild, that is deaf, that open wild there, that is definitely our problem, guys. Which is good. It means that uh, we found the problem and when we fix it, it should work. Hopefully, <laughs> I'm hoping for the best, come on. But you had to take the water pump off and all that, so it's a pain in the butt. I'll show you the, how, how the water pump was off and stuff when I get it back together, but we get this data on, you gotta take all these wiles off, going everywhere, but gotta unclip them, which, so that's gonna take me a few minutes. So we get these bolts off right here, and uh, get this, to get this wire out and take this out trace it up and find out where it goes and to unhook it and we'd be good we'd be good to go guys put the new state on okay guys i stand corrected you gotta take these two bolts out and then these two which will pull this out right here and then you just track it up here and mine was this big round one just kind of by itself well not by itself it's just sitting just as flush i had to cut a few wires here but you can see it's the right one so now i just uh undo it put the new one on it put it back together i got so, it back on i think tighten back up got these these put a little i'm gonna put a little silicone when you put this back in you can see it goes in this little groove put a little silicone up there gotta clean this off okay now there's two i thought those one wild those two wilds another wild this one's a pain in the you know what put a little i'm gonna put a little dielectric grease clean all this out because i've been knocking nothing but dirt in it even though i pressure washed it I got the wash up with dot, but anyways, if you need your timing chain tightened, this is the time, guys. It's all taken off. I don't need it, but just saying, if you need it, it's the time to do it. Well, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, run these wilds, put some silicone on this piece, and then I got the I got a gasket, so I don't have to put uh, silicone around this. 
You need to clean the old silicone off that somebody put on it. Ugh. And then we'll put it back together. We got it all back together. This is a pain in the rear end. Okay, now the biggest problem I found is when putting it back on, that gasket did not want to go. Not only did the gasket not want to go, you have to take the water pump off. You got to take one, two, three, four, I think it's four or five bolts off and take the water pump off along with, you got to squeeze this, pull it off, squeeze that, pull that off. Get the, and you got to get the water pump out of the way to get the last bolt to take this off, okay? I said I was going to, there's the bolts. You can see them. I take all them off. Then uh, the gasket was a pain in the ass. And with this open, you, the propeller, you, it looks like a turbocharger pretty much. You got to twist that thing just right when you put it on. If not, it did. It just wasn't lined up. I guess I accidentally spun it when it was off. So it was it was interesting. So with this off, the propeller will be open, and you can uh, you can do it. It's it's complicated, but I did it, guys. It's the, the gasket was the worst part. I'm telling you, it was just. But, 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 you can use silicone if that's your game. I'm not big on the whole silicone thing, but, hey, I ain't going to argue with nobody's thing. But anyways, we got that off. Make sure these hoses are good. Make sure that everything's tight. I ain't plugged the wires in, as you can see. Got uh, my two wires. Going to run it back through here and back up to this. Now I got to put oil back in it. Don't forget to put the oil, guys. Now also you have to take this bolt off. This is an 18 millimeter. I forgot to mention that earlier. In order, to, when you take all these right here off, you gotta take this off too. And you just pull this out the way, and you're good. Well, I'm gonna clean this crank, this uh, where the crank is, crankcase, whatever it is. Clean that all up. Open, get this out, and get this ram back to where it belongs. Then we're gonna fill it up with some antifreeze and some oil. And we're gonna see if we can get her running. We're gonna charge a battery up, so it's gonna it's gonna be a little while, but we'll get it going, guys. Okay, guys, got it all back together. And I gotta say, I bought this thing used in pieces, but little things bother me. Like this cover right here, all there's only one bolt right here, and this black one right here were the only things holding this whole cover. All it ever did was rattle. So I had took some bolts and fixed it now. Now it don't rattle. But it's like how, how, what did the guy take it off and got too lazy to put him back on one time? But it's like little things like that just bother me sometimes. I know, pet, just one of my little things. But I'm still charging the battery. See what happens. Well, hoping, I'm hoping for the best, guys. But I, I won't really be able to tell today. Honestly, I'm going to have to wait until, uh, until a, a week later to make, because that's normally when the battery dies. It just dies after about a week of sitting still. So we're hoping for the best, but. We get all charged up. I'm gonna finish putting the floorboards and stuff in, and then I'm gonna clean up. And I'll probably go home and come back some. Come back next week and try to get the seals in. Well, she's running, guys. She's another filled with oil and antifreeze. Now we just have to wait and see uh, if it stays charged or if not. Anyways, so the problem was, for what I could see with this. Uh, was the fact was that somewhere I'll take it over here I guess we're gonna take it to the table to the table yeah what I'm, hey it's actually I showed you all though it's for some reason this little piece here has moved little grommet thing come on Anyways, it, you guys saw it all there. It was, it was rubbed in two. There it is, right there. Found it. There's the problem right there. See if it'll focus. Yeah, that's, it's not good. It itself, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, I thought it was gonna be charred all the crap, but it don't look too bad for what it is, but it definitely, uh, it definitely messed up. Hopefully this fixes the problem I'm having. I mean, I, I, the only time to wait. I'm gonna have to see if she stays charged and everything. And if she does, then problem fixed, we're good. If not, then it's down the rabbit hole again, figuring out what's wrong. But like everything else, we'll get her straight. I'm enjoying walking on this thing every day.